I'm Dr. Walter Lowe from Houston, Texas, and today I'm going to show you a repair of a root equivalent type lateral meniscus tear in a left knee with the new 1.5 fiber stitch. So the exciting thing about this, the 1.5 is the new much smaller diameter, very sharp a meniscal repair device. And just showing you this uh, tear we created here at the most posterior and central part of the lateral meniscus, kind of mimicking the typical root equivalent tear you would see uh, with the an intercruciate ligament injury. So with this in planning, you know, what we want to do is reduce this side to side, make sure we have it balanced because these tears are very vascular and heal great. So never should we think about taking this type of tear out. The new 1.5 fiber stitch comes in straight, 12 degree, 24 degree up, and then a reverse curve. And the choice of those um, is very dependent on the tear type and the actual access you have to get to whichever uh, meniscus you're repairing. So with this, we're going to start with the 12 degree up. You can see from the outside, we have a little skid to help get in the joint. And so to start this repair, I think you can choose either side and we want to transversely bring this tear together, sort of get up as high as we can. And with this sharp tip on it, I can now reduce, move, you know, put the meniscus where I want it to be. I can go left, go right to push it one direction or the other, and then we'll just implant it into the capsule. So to implant the device as you saw it go in, it's the same as with the fiber stitch before. It's Pull it reverse till you feel it click all the way and then roll it forward till you feel the same click. And then you di disengage the meniscus much better. And then we'll move over to the other side of the tear. Same thing, we're gonna wanna reduce this side to side. Same technique second time around. And so pull it back towards me, push it forward and, and disengage. And so that's what your picture should look like so once we have both implanted, we'll just sort of grab the suture construct outside and make sure the anchor is set by pulling gently on it. And then with the probe, we'll take the loop and then tension it down. And you can tell I'm just sort of going and I'm trying to judge the tension I want to get as I go. Once I'm there, I'll grab the long suture and pull in the second piece. And so that would be a typical way to address these uh, root equivalent type or radial tears uh, way posterior in the lateral meniscus. Typically in this kind of tear, I would like two traversing the tear and then maybe one underneath. So I kind of want to space my puncture points out and not have them in line so I don't have a little stress riser. I would like to get this up higher. And again, like on the first one, I'll use my tip to reduce the meniscus in the direction I want. And again, up high. And it's just the same mechanism every time, trying not to put any torque on the handle. And we'll just go through the same steps again. We'll set the anchor, then take a probe and get our tightness where we want it. So the sharp bevel and the small size makes this pretty much the perfect all inside meniscal uh, repair device. It really lets me do anything and everything I would need to do with the all inside device, really no matter what the anatomy of the meniscal tear would be. So this is the reverse. And so with this, the initial puncture is through the meniscus. And then the second puncture is out completely underneath the meniscus into the capsule. And you can do this on both sides of the tear. If you want, we'll just show it on one here. Same thing, even under surface, set it. You don't really see it as well. See how that kind of pulled it down. And reduce that tear. The suture that grasps the capsule does a very good job grasping 
you can see the tear. We've approximated it side by side. We've reduced it up and down. You could still add more suture if you want across. You could add vertical mattress type sutures here to stabilize both sides of this. There's any number of configurations you, you could use both on this tear. And like I said, it really lets you address with all these different angles, any type of a meniscal tear anatomy that we might see. There, there's a pretty good view of that repair.